So the world is now seeing Russia as it's going to um, sweep over Ukraine, sweeping aside any resistance whatsoever. The, the West is not blameless in this. The West has been poking the bear for years and now the bear is retaliating. This war, this invasion is not a war against Ukraine per se. It's a war against NATO, against the West. We have been pushing our luck with the borders and entertaining the thought of allowing Ukraine to become part of NATO allows the US and the UK to put military bases and missile bases right on the Russian border. And Putin sat back and he's watched and he's watched and he's watched. And now he's got to a point where he said, no, no more. I'm not saying that war is the answer. There must be some peace, peaceful solution to this. Um, but when the USSR broke up, one of Putin's greatest fears was that we would have troops and missile bases close to the Russian border that will reach far into Russia. And Moscow and St. Petersburg aren't that far into the border from Ukraine. Um, this is not good. The West is reacting with sanctions. Do we really think Putin gives a damn about sanctions? He's not a man that gives a damn. He will turn off the gas supplies to Russia, uh, to, to Germany, sorry, and disable Germany. So Germany aren't going to take part. The French will do what they do in every war and run up the white flag. And as usual, it will be the UK getting sucked into this, trying to put push Russia out of an occupied Ukraine. And that's going to be near on impossible. I don't know how this is going to end. Russia has 190,000 troops on the border now moving in to Ukraine. British Army stands at about 85 to 90,000 maximum. Do you think Sleepy Joe from America is going to send over a quarter of a million plus troops from America to a war in Europe? Nah, they were late for every war in the, in, the, in the major wars. They're not going to get involved. This is scary times. We need to pray for Ukraine. I'm an old veteran, but believe you me, if I could take up arms now, I would go to Ukraine and I would fight for them. They don't deserve this. But we poked the bear. We should not be surprised the bear is now retaliating. God bless Ukraine.